Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For today's video I'm going to talk you through my methods for creating realistic looking fur with coloured pencils. When working with coloured pencils you always start with your lightest colours first and build up through your midtones and up to your darks. For this section of fur I start with a base layer of warm grey one. I keep my pressure very light and don't pay too much attention to details or fur strokes just yet. I want to get a smooth even base layer to start with. I put down around 2-3 layers to make sure I get a good even coverage. I then go on to use a warm grey 2 to lightly add in where my shadow areas are. I'm not focusing on any details just yet, but start to pay attention to the direction of the fur. I now use a bistro colour and start working in little strokes, again I'm paying close attention to the direction of the fur. I am still using very light pressure so that I leave room for plenty more layers of pencil to be added on top. When drawing the fur strokes, I don't draw straight lines parallel to each other, I use curved strokes that overlap. This gives it more of that realistic look. I use more layers of pencil on my shadowed areas to create a darker tone. When drawing animals, you will notice that their fur changes direction quite often as the fur goes over different areas of the shapes of their face and body. I now use a nugget colour to start adding in some darker areas. Again I use the same method of small curved strokes overlapping each other. I make sure to keep my pencil sharp when adding in the fur details. This helps to create those really fine crisp lines.
use a harder pressure when working in my dark areas and then a lighter pressure when I go into the lighter areas. This is so that the colours and light blend and transition well with each other. I then go back in with my Bistro pencil to add some more depth and colour and to further blend my layers together. I now go in to add some more shadowing using a Van Dyke brown pencil. For this part, I make sure my pencil is nice and sharp and work in between the fur strokes rather than all over the fur. I still pay attention to the fur direction and work closely on the darker areas. I use a harder pressure on the darker parts and gradually use a lighter pressure on the lighter areas. I now go back again with some more Bistro to blend those layers together. Now I want to add in my darkest areas to create more depth. For this I use a sharp dark sepia pencil and again work in between my fur strokes. Next I want to add in some flyaway strands of fur and some highlights. For this I like to use my slice tool. This is a pen knife that has a ceramic blade and is very similar to a craft knife. It works by lifting away some of the top layers of pencil. It does not cut or damage the paper. It works almost like an eraser, just taking away some of the pigment but is very precise and leaves a crisp fine line. Once I have lifted some of the pigment away and created those extra fur strands and highlights, I like to go back over with a lighter colour pencil just to finish them off. Here I have used a warm grey one pencil. I 
then use my dark sepia pencil again to add some more shadows and finish off the fur. So that is it for the basics of how I like to create this realistic looking fur in my portraits. I hope this has helped you and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. I have new videos every Sunday. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram where you can find my current work in progress. I also have an art sharing group on Facebook where you're welcome to share your own artwork with me and other artists in the group. I am often there commenting on your posts and giving help and advice where needed. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!